Hey y'all, so I just wanted to settle something right now. Um, since everybody, like, people like Vaughn Allen, whatever, like, always be talking about, like, they always be talking about, whoa, whoa, can we slow down on the talks about Patrick Mahomes all of a sudden being the GOAT and whatever? Well, how about this? Tom Brady is GOAT 1, and Patrick Mahomes is GOAT 2. Because at the end of the day, tell me one quarterback in the history of the NFL that has done what Patrick Mahomes has done in his first five years. Now, I'm not going to go too much into stuff like numbers and stuff like that just speaks for itself you know we know what he's been able to do as far as stat wise he's now won league mvp twice and he went from being the youngest play uh, the youngest quarterback to ever win league mvp to the youngest quarterback to ever win Two league MVPs. Um, I mean, it's just crazy, man. It's it's crazy. You know, what this dude has done has been unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Um, I mean, understand he's made five, he's taken the Chiefs to five straight AFC championship games. Every year since 2018 that it's the final four in the conference championship games, best believe that Mahomes and the Chiefs have been there every time. And no quarterback, I don't believe, has ever done that. I don't believe any quarterback has ever done that. Um, Jim Kelly... Um, hold on. I feel like I feel a sneeze coming up. Jim Kelly was the first to ever go to four straight Super Bowls because he was also the first to ever win four straight AFC championship games. And I believe to this day still is crazy. Um, understand Jim Kelly was a real, was a damn good quarterback. He was a damn good quarterback. Um, but no quarterback has done what this guy 15 has done in his first five years. Five. All right. Dude's got five on it. So anyway, I mean, and the thing is, it's not like it's just the fact that he's made it to five straight AFC championship games. It's been home AFC championship games, you know, and here and the thing is, is that people can say what they want about saying he's never gone through adversity before because he's all in his career. He's always been in the comfort of Arrowhead uh, his entire career in the playoffs, but he's never played in a road playoff game. But I look at it like, like this. Look at it like this, okay? A guy has never played a road playoff game in his first five years of his NFL career. He's played a mat a minimum of three playoff um he's played a minimum of three playoff games in each of his five years in the league. He's never played in a road playoff game. Never. Zilch. Nada. Uh-uh. He's never done it. Is, isn't that more impressive than unimpressive? Like, Tom Brady's got all these road playoff games that he's played in before. You know? Or whatever. But... In my opinion, a guy has never played a road playoff game. That means 
that he is he has been so good that he's put his team has had great re, great regular seasons that he's put his team in situations where they've never had to go on the road because they win so many games. Think about it. Think about it. Come on now. Think about it. So look at the bigger picture here. Look at the bigger picture as far as, you know, when you want to talk about he's never faced adversity, never played in a road playoff game. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess he's supposed to not win a, a apparently he needs to intentionally lose some games so he gets that wild card you know seed or whatever so that way he has no choice but to play a road playoff game is that what he's supposed to do no all right at the end of the day the number one goal is to win and all he does is win 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 no matter what 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 <laughs> Um, nonetheless, uh, in all seriousness, though, I mean, the guy just, he's got the number one win percentage all time by a quarterback in their first five years. And he's just been amazing. If you want, um... A example of an explanation why Patrick Mahomes should already be in the conversation for being the GOAT. Look no further than his two Super Bowl rings, right? He's now won two Super Bowl rings at the age of 20. How old is he? 27? Finna be 28? Yeah. Um... Both times that he's won, he's had to come back from a 10-point deficit. You know? Both times, he's had to come back from a 10-point deficit. And what that shows to me is that he's clutch. He's clutch. And all the great legends, all the guys like Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Joe Montana, all right, has... All had that clutch moment. And he's had it twice. You know, Brady's had it multiple times, but ju that's just because it seems like Tom Brady can never um, put himself, can never not put himself in a situation where the game comes down to the final possession when he plays in a Super Bowl. But nonetheless... Um, yeah, Patrick Mahomes has won two rings and both times he had to come back from down 10. He had to come back from down 10 three years ago against the San Francisco 49ers in the Super Bowl. In Super Bowl 54, remember that? Three years ago, he came back from down 10 in the fourth quarter. And that was against a real good defense. A damn good defense. Um, and then this past season, you know, uh, he came back from down 10 to the Eagles in Super Bowl 57. And that was against a pretty good defense as well. I mean, if you want to call them that, I mean... Me personally, you can call me a hater. I am a Cowboys fan, but I'm just saying, I, I don't know. I felt like their defense was a little fraudulent all year long. Uh, but nonetheless, a lot of the experts said that they had a great defense. So, hey, you know, can't, can't really argue with the experts. So, yeah, Mahomes came back from down 10. Uh, against a great defense in the Philadelphia Eagles. So Mahomes has shown his fair share of moments of being clutch and showing that he should be in that conversation for, of being the GOAT. And you can say what you want about him having Andy Reid as his head coach. But if Andy Reid was so good, if it is so much about the system, 
Tell me why Donovan McNabb, Michael Vick, Alex Smith, tell me why those three QBs under Andy Reid couldn't do what Patrick Mahomes has been doing. Tell me why. All right? Like Backstreet Boys. Tell me why. Tell me why, bruh. Tell me why. So y'all can say what y'all want, but Patrick Mahomes on a bad ankle um, put a ran. He basically took his team to the promised land and won the Super Bowl on a bad ankle. When when he first injured his ankle, people thought it was over for the Chiefs. They thought it was over. They thought it was over, man. All right. You know, Mahomes can't do what he normally does really good, which is improvised because of that bad ankle. And he was still doing that kind of just a little bit. And he knocked off Joe Burrow, who y'all said all of a sudden, apparently it's called Burrowhead. I mean, you know, it is what it is, you know, but, and, oh, one more thing before I leave out, before we close this out, before we close this out, there's one more thing that I want to say. He won league MVP, led the league with 41 touchdown passes, led the league in passing yards, and he did that. Without the most electrifying wide receiver in the NFL after the Chiefs traded him. Mahomes proved that I can still be Patrick Mahomes without Tyreek Hill. I can I can still be that dude. I can still be that dude. And I can still be very, very highly productive. Honestly, this might be a better pa- version of Patrick Mahomes. That Patrick Mahomes before... This might be a better Patrick Mahomes, to be quite honest with you. This might be a better version of him. Watch out, NFL. Mahomes might be better, which is crazy to say. He might be even better. And guess what? His legacy, his resume is only going to grow. It's only going to grow, bro. It's only going to grow. All right? Tom Brady, his leg, his legacy, his resume is already fulfilled over a long, you know, amount of amount of years. Patrick Mahomes just is continuing to grow his resume, but what he's done in five years, it's crazy to say. Um, but I don't know if it gets better than this. I don't know if it does, like. He'll he'll find a way to surprise us and do something even greater than this. But I mean, what he's done in a five year span. Wow. He can top this. Then. This guy's untouchable. Um, With that being said, that has been my time. Like subscribe. Comment down how y'all feel about this video and what I was talking about. And uh, that is it. Peace.